Candace Owens recently did an appearance on Don Lemon's podcast. They discussed several things over the course of this interview, but the most interesting moment, in my opinion, was when Don Lemon asked Candace Owens whether or not she believed he was sinning because he is married to a man. Candace Owens proceeded to say yes, that is sinning, because homosexuality is a sin, and she then told him that she doesn't even view his marriage as a marriage due to the fact that it is between two men, and she has these beliefs due to the God that she worships, due to the fact that she is a Christian. Don Lemon took offense to this, and then proceeded to raise the question of, oh, in your opinion, I'm sinning? In your opinion, me being married to a man is sinning? But what he fails to understand is that it's not a matter of opinion. The God that I believe in, the God that Candace Owens believes in, states that homosexuality is a sin. The God that I pray to, the God that Candace Owens prays to, states that two men cannot be married to one another. It is not recognized as a marriage in the eyes of God. Don Lemon took offense to this. I'm going to play this video for you, and then I'll give more of my reactions and thoughts afterwards. Take a look at this. What do you think about same-sex marriage? It's a sin. You think it's a sin? So you think it I'm sinful? Sin. What's that? You think I'm sin sinful because I'm married to a man? Yeah. You do? Yes, okay. you're sinning. You are in a sinful relationship. I don't believe, I actually don't believe marriage can be between two men, so I don't. What do you Don Lemon claims to be a Christian, but I don't know if I buy that. Because obviously he believes the Bible is an opinion. He believes that the Bible is up for debate. Because he keeps saying in that video, in your opinion, I'm sinning. In your opinion, I'm sinful. No, it's not about opinion. It is about what is in the Bible. And what is in the Bible is not up for debate. Either you believe in it and you follow it and you take it as truth or you reject it and you do the opposite. So it's not about an opinion. Christians are always expected to be flexible. Christians are always expected to have a very open mind and are expected to abandon their beliefs just to appease other people. When that isn't the route that Christians should be taking, stand firmly on what you believe in and don't let any sort of criticism or outside noise make you feel bad for worshiping your God, for living a life that you know God will be proud of. You see, in this moment here, Don Lemon tried to paint Candace Owens out as being homophobic or hateful or, you know, things of that nature, when in reality, she is just staying true to herself and staying true to her belief system, which is what I think everyone should do. The Bible isn't a matter of opinion. It states what it states. Now, either you follow it or you don't. Don Lemon claims to be a Christian, but how can you be a Christian when you think that whether something is a sin or not is up in the air and is something that can be debated and is something that is matter of opinion? That doesn't make sense. That defeats the entire purpose of having a God. If you're not going to follow the teachings of God, what is the point of worshiping him? Here's another video of Don Lemon and Candace Owens talking, going back and forth. And in this moment, Candace Owens is trying to educate Don Lemon and the viewers of this podcast on the Christian persecution that has taken place and that is still taking place throughout the world. And Don Lemon laughs. He says he's a Christian, but he's laughing at the fact that Christians worldwide are being persecuted. It's not about the Holocaust, okay? Christians suffered too. In fact, we are the most persecuted religion in the world. And I am so sick of it. I am so sick of there can only be one victim narrative. Oh, and if you start on. talking I am about- I Christian and we are Christians not are the not, most persecuted in the that world. That is Come a fact. On. What no, are you me, saying? Just just we're not the most persecuted like, religion in the world. Do you know what's like happening you. in Armenia? Do you know what's yeah, happening me, in Nigeria? Let Do let you know what just happened you. in Canada? The fake story that was was propagated by all of the mainstream networks about the nuns and they found the mass burial, which allowed 85 Catholic churches to be 
burned to the ground in the last three years in Canada, we are still being persecuted right now. So I take great offense to you coming in here about the sensitivities of the people that are working on your show when I'm sitting here telling you that I'm a Christian and I'm offended well, by what you're saying and you are, and you laugh, you mock show, I think Christian persecution. Very, very Do you think it's acceptable to laugh when someone tells you about Christian persecution? Because let me tell you something, if I had done that, if I had laughed about the Holocaust, I, I would be chased out of polite laughable. society. Then don't laugh. Don't laugh at Christian persecution. Don't well, do being it. Laughable is me that the whole that the whole the name is in the term. It's do laughable. not laugh. You literally just laugh like when I talk about Christian persecution. Is, Don't do that ever saying, again. Not in my presence. Don Lemon apparently is a Christian, but I don't think he knows what it means to be a Christian. Because according to him, he determines what's a sin, not God. And according to him, the persecution of Christians is funny. It is something worth laughing at. So that is probably the most confused Christian I've ever seen in my entire life. But you see, in these videos here, Candace Owens handled herself perfectly. I believe this is exactly how you should handle people like Don Lemon. Stand firmly on your beliefs and never let someone disrespect your God or your beliefs in front of your face. Check it every time. Don't allow the conversation to move forward without checking that disrespect. And that, ex that is exactly what she did in this video. And that is exactly what Christians need to do more often. Because right now in our society, right now in all of the Western world, it seems as if Christians have taken a back seat. This country was built on Christianity. But as I just said, nowadays, it's like Christians are supposed to just take the back seat when in reality, we're supposed to be standing up for what's right. We're supposed to be on the front lines of the culture war. And when I say front lines, I don't mean anything advocating for any sort of violence in any way, shape, or form. I mean being very open and vocal about what our beliefs are. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout. There's a lot more videos coming very soon.